What's good? It's your boy Tad Money, and today I'm gonna talk about my Lord and Savior Cal Swab. You know what I'm saying? I have his picture up here. And the thing about it is, when it comes to the metaverse and stuff, even though the metaverse is not popularized, because people want to live regular lives and live a normal life and become of this world, become of this physical world and the things in it. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to me, though, man, I'm mainly focus on the digital and the spiritual, which is the metaverse and the spirit realm of things. And when it really comes down to it, though, <clears throat> You know, when it comes to my spiritual beliefs and my spiritual practices, you know, I'm a left-hand path practitioner, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Luciferian, a Numenati Luciferian. You know, I represent the 13 uh, tribes of the Numenati bloodline. And, you know, he considered part of the 13 tribes, so I consider him as my Lord and Savior. Since he's the co-owner of work and I'm a form, it's going to shape how the future going to be and shape how we're going to live. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have QR codes tattered on our bodies. We're going to have microchips or RFID chips and, you know, implanted into our hands and our brains and whatever it got to be implanted to. And I, you know, so I accept all that. You know what I'm saying? I accept that the government owns me. I accept that the work and number four owns me. And I accept that Kyle Swamp owns me. So when it really comes down to it, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be doing the work of Lucifer and the work of the 13 tribes of the Illuminati and really focus on building this empire for them that that will reign for for so many years, for several years, you know what I'm saying, whole nine yards. So when it really comes down to it, though, I'm on this earth to represent all the Babylonian mystery, mystics, occultists, and neo-pagans, neo -pagans, shamans, and all, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> So basically what I'm trying to say, though, is, is that this man is beautiful. I mean, he's a handsome man. I mean, no matter how you look at him, but he look, he's a handsome man. You know what I'm saying? Kyle Schwab is a handsome, beautiful man. And I'm glad that he's my Lord and Savior. I'm glad that he represents, you know, the war economic for and their mission to represent the rich and the poor. I'm part of the poor, poor useless class, even though I'm useless now, but not for long in the future. Best believe that. But, you know, when it really comes down to it, though, I really look up to Kyle Swab because, you know what I'm saying, he's someone that I inspire, you know, to be like, you know, someone that I want to become like in the spiritual sense, in the metaphysical sense, uh, represent the mystery religions and also the New Age as well. You know, I was put on this earth to really represent the New Age movement, which means spirituality, occultism, paganism, all in between. So basically what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, I'm on this mission for, I'm on this world for a purpose. Like I said, Lucifer, you know, he, it was his mission to have me born in this world. You know, I so said, yeah, my sister born first is the order of me to be breaking down even more, having an older sister that, that do what thou will attitude. And she did have that do what thou will attitude. You know what I mean? Even though she didn't realize it, but thanks to the movies and music she was listening to, including my mom, including everybody was in my household, people was mentally unstable and mentally challenged. You know what I mean? Like my mom, she's mentally ill. She's definitely, definitely mentally ill. Like when she's sucking on popsicles and shit, she's sucking on it like it's dicks and shit. And up here want to play with me about it so when it really come down to i'm just done, I'm, I'm really done with the human with the human race in general it's time for humans to either become dark human or light human i don't know about light human but when, when it comes to dark humans that is someone that practices black magic or, or someone that's of the wickedness or someone that's of the dark side you know what i mean so me being a dark human you know so even though i got a balance though, i got a balance between light and dark but, you know, me being a dark human, that's what I'm striving for, and that's what I'm trying to uh, reach for. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. Because at the same time, I don't give a damn about nobody. I don't give a damn about my family. I don't give a damn about people at my job. You know, I don't give a damn about people that I see in public. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I can't wait for this world to feel the wrath of the war. I never before and feel the wrath of Kyle Swab. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. You feel what I'm saying? Because this world is finished. This world is finished when it comes to the Abrahamic religions and monotheistic beliefs and all this other bullshit. So... <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that Cal Swab, he's my Lord and Savior because he, he represents the governments. He represents the, uh, the world powers. He represents everything what this world got going on. So basically what I'm trying to say, though, is that, yes, I will get a, the mark of the beast. I will accept the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Mark of the beast is, is basically a, a Luciferian wise. Because once the age of Aquarius is here, 
You know what I'm saying? People will have people have to people have to do adopt the Luciferian ideology or doctrine in order to live in this age of Aquarius or this new world order. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it already said it's in in some book. I don't got no books on me, but you know, according to the truth movement, according to those I, I even follow on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? They, they had a book or 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 a, line, or a sentence where the guy said that people is not going to enter the new world order until they accept Lucifer into their lives, accept the light bearer, the morning signing star into their lives so when it comes down to i'm on this earth to to bring people into the luciferian light into the light bringer into the light bright light and stuff like that that's why i was put on this earth for it like i said man lucifer plays a part of me being born in this world there's a reason why he had my sister born first so she can have that do what that will attitude and i can't do nothing about it you know and so now yo so when when it comes down to the subliminal things in my life the subliminal things that ever happened in my life you gotta understand all that subliminal isn't that went on with my life lucifer plays a role in that i'm, I'm gonna be honest lucifer plays a role how i came up in this life now i'm not my left hand path practitioner and i'm supposed to believe i'm supposed to follow the luciferian doctrine that, that says you can't blame nobody but yourself i understand that but i'm a deistic luciferian I, I believe heavenly in the spirit of lucifer you know what I'm saying i believe heavenly in the spirit of lucifer but i don't take an orthodox approach i take a heterodox approach while dealing with lucifer <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When I deal with Lucifer, I can call many men and women as my guys or goddesses. But when it comes down to the people who are of that status, it's people who are who are celebrities or a power of government or whatever you call it. Because they are the ones that's in that God status and in that God power. You feel what I'm saying? So looking at so looking at Kyle Schwab, he do got that God power status, knowing how much power and how much he holds, you know, the world in the palm of his hands. You know, everything is under his control, right along with many other groups that controls this world. So basically what I'm trying to say though is that I accept the market of the beast i accept all of that you know what I'm saying? i accept the government owning me i don't give a damn if the government owns me man like i know i'm part of the poor class i don't give a damn i'm part of the poor class because if I, since i'm part of the poor class that's why i'm going to be seedless and what i mean by seedless you know just like you go to the stores and stuff when you buy fruits and fruits mostly fruits there's no seeds in them and the reason why there's no seeds in them because they seedless and when it comes out to me i don't want no kids i don't want no wife i just want to be seedless and, and loneliness but i really want I want to embrace the spirits. I want to embrace my fallen angel wife here. I want to embrace the Egyptian God set. I want to embrace the Baphomet. I want to embrace Santa Marta. I want to embrace many gods and goddesses that I worship and praise to. So basically what I'm trying to say though is, is that I'm on this earth for a purpose. You know, I'm not I'm not on this earth to serve Yahweh or Allah or Jesus Christ or Virgin Mary, whatever you want to call it. I'm not meant for those really. I'm not meant to be monotheistic. Monotheistic is not my thing. It would never be my thing. Like I say, I'm polytheistic to the death of me, man. I'm polytheistic to the death of me. I'm always gonna be paganistic until the death of me. Until they have to kill me or force me or something. But I am gonna accept Lucifer into my life. I am gonna embrace the Luciferian doctrine and stuff but i'm not gonna change my theism and i'm not gonna change the way i am as a person you feel what i'm saying so basically what i'm trying to say is that cal suave is a handsome guy he's my guy he's my lord and savior you know i look at him as my jesus christ i look at him as, as my yahusha and stuff i look at him as all that you know what i'm saying Cause he's the one that's going to shape my future he's the one that's going to shape my life he's the one that's going to decide what food is going to be put in my mouth if I, he's going to want me to decide whether i should go outside or not and i don't have no problem with that i don't give a damn like i said i worship many guys and goddesses and i got plenty of books on my disposal to where i can read about spirituality occultism and, and paganism <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? So that's one thing I'm trying to let y'all know, man. I already made up my decision. I'm not going to embrace Yahweh in these end days. I'm going I'm with Lucifer until I'm, until I'm casting the lake of fire with him. I'm telling him in the lake of fire with the false prophet and the Antichrist and Lucifer and everybody else. I don't give a damn if it hurts and shit. I might regret it, though. I ain't going to lie. I am going to regret it. But at the same time, that's the faith that I, dis I choose and that's the faith I decide. I'd rather be in a lake of fire than coming on this earth or going to the heavenly kingdom or any of that bullshit. I don't want to be a part of that shit. And I never want to be a part of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, if there ain't gonna be a, if, if there ain't gonna be no afterlife where none but polytheism, where people worship many gods and goddesses, and, and Luciferianism, where people worship the devil, and Buddhism and Hinduism and, sh and all that stuff, if, if I ain't gonna live in a universe like that, then throw me in a lake of fire because I don't want to be a part of a, 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 a religion or a world where monotheism is dominated and all this other stuff. Like I said, I got the heart of Cain and the mind of Nimrod. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I invoke Cain and Nimrod spirit within me. I am destined. 
destined to what I represent. I am destined to represent what I believe in. I'm going to die for what I believe in. And that's real talk. I would die for Kyle Schwab if I got to push this agenda out there, even if it costs me to lose my life. I mean, I'm just being honest. So basically what I'm trying to say, though, is, is that I'm not turning my back what I believe. I'm not turning my back on Lucifer. I'm not turning my back on, on the fallen angels. And I'm definitely not turning my back on my fallen angel wifey. And that's one thing I want to say. So when it really comes down to I already made up my mind, I know I ain't getting no views. People want to watch my celebrity feed videos. That's the only thing that get views because people like to, like, you know, sex sales, I guess. But at the same time, it doesn't matter, though, man. Because like I said, I'm not on YouTube to gain subscribers or gain followers or any of that bullshit. I'm on YouTube to put a message out there. I'm on YouTube to put my message out there. So if you if you subscribe to me and like my videos, okay. But if you don't, then go ahead and unsubscribe and shit. Because like I said, I'm not embracing Allah. I'm not embracing Yahweh. I'm not embracing the Virgin Mary. I'm not embracing none of these damn fake false idols. You know what I'm saying? They're nothing but false idols. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always going to embrace my those from their Father Shango. I'm always going to embrace Seth. I'm always going to embrace the Baphomet. I'm always going to embrace my fallen angel wifey. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Home not yours. And that's one thing I want to say. You know what I mean? So, I, so Kyle Schwab is my Lord and Savior. He's my God. I, you know, I will accept the mark of the beast. I will accept the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Whole nine yards. I don't give a damn, and I don't care no more. So this is your boy, Tab Money, man. I'm finna sign off. That's all I want to say. So be on the lookout for my other videos, and stay tuned. So peace.